Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on this flow gun right here, so let's get into it. Right, so this is a um, 0 0.625 caliber 5 foot blow gun. Um, it's made by Coastal, and I got this on Amazon for around, uh, got it for around $30, but the price changes like every two days, so you should check back if you can get it around $35. Uh, that's a good price for it. What I like about this is actually... Um, is about hiking sick high and it comes with a little piece that goes on the end that you can use uh, as a like a plug so you don't get any dirt in there if you want to use it as a walking stick it actually works pretty well it's made of um, some kind of metal it comes with 15 mini broadhead darts that are mainly used for hunting and if you ever shoot this into a tree um, make sure you put out um, horizontal to how the head is because if you do it the wrong way it'll actually bend this and pull and it'll come off i was doing that several times as you can see right here this one actually fell off and what i did i took like a um a pet nail filer and i sharpened it with it so it's now works just as good as this one except it's just not as uh, broad as this one is it also comes with around the same amount of bamboo darts and these are mainly used for target practice and for shooting at the trees. And lastly, we have the stun dart. I'm not entirely sure what the main use for this is, but if you shoot it at a tree, it has like a 50% chance of actually staying in, and it has more power than you probably think it does. It can go right through cardboard, and it can even stick into walls and sometimes trees. So I think that's all that comes with it. Um, I have actually made one kill with the blowgun, and that was a rattlesnake. I'll show you a clip of that uh, somewhere in this video. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to shoot this. So first, remove the end piece, grab a dart, put it in, and it's going to sit right there until you push it a little bit farther, and you're going to hold that with your finger. And it slips down, just kind of sucks back, and that'll uh, bring it back to, to where it needs to be to blow it. So, you're going to put this in your mouth, and the further out you put your hand, the more uh, steady of an aim you'll have. And when you aim, you just, you just blow, and you actually want to use come from your stomach, not your cheeks. You still want to puff up your cheeks, but mainly your power will come from your stomach. So I actually figured out another really good uh, use of this blowgun. So you take one of these kind of Nerf gun darts uh, with a Velcro tip, and you peel off to the sides like that, and you take like some kind of little BB, it's optional, it just makes it fly a little bit farther, and you stick it down there, and then you can shove it in with a pin. And it actually fits kind of nicely right in there, and it will stay, because your thing's on the side. And it's probably one of the most accurate Nerf guns you'll ever shoot. Alright, so that's all I need to tell you about the blowgun. And here are some demonstrations. I just shot um, a couple of darts um, at a stump with some paper. It's pretty thick too. And you can see just about all of them went in. And one actually bounced out, but that one uh, was one of the ones that broke off. So they go really deep in. So that's really good. Look at this. This one almost went all the way through. And yep, so that's all the bamboo darts right here. And they all went in and I was standing uh, a little bit past that sidewalk right there. So it is pretty accurate. And that bounced all the way from the basketball, hit the wall, and right here. Here is the Nerf gun dart. Here's the 
standard. <coughs> and here is the demo drive. <coughs> All right. The Nerf gun dart, and this one went about 50 feet. Blue dart, and this uh, our house is like way over there, so that's um like 40 yards. Here's the bamboo dart, and this is about 50 meters away from our house. So before I show you this next clip, I just want to let you know that it may be kind of graphic. Uh, this is the video of me shooting the rattlesnake, and normally I wouldn't just kill it, but um it was on a very uh, popular path uh, and that we're on it was in the very middle and it wasn't gonna move and I actually got it recently so I kind of wanted to test it out and so I shot it a couple of times and then I put it out with a rock and I was able to cut off the rattle and I actually took that home if um, I had something to t take it in I actually would have uh, brought the entire body home maybe skin it and we could have eaten it but I had nothing to put nowhere to put it so I just want to let you guys know and here it is what's in its mouth Get much. They can strike like six feet away. Hold on. Wait, hold the camera. Meal. That's crazy. Hold the camera. Wait. I must have stepped can right I... over it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't probably... even see it. See, this is... I almost <laughs> stepped on it. If that thing can... Are you gonna get your dart back? He's not. You're on film. I'll shoot it one more time, then you, uh... I'll kill you. Alright, I'm gonna try. There's a rock. Whoa. I can still kill you, so be careful. Jonna. What? Yeah. You get more blowgun darts. Yeah, those... Are... Or no good to you. Yeah, because it's got the venom on it. That was exciting. Did you kill it? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the tail. There's a bird in here. Really? See, it's still moving. But look at that. It's still moving. Oh, well, I killed the snake. Um, I was able to take the rattle, and uh, so as I said in the towards the end of the video, I said there was a bird in it. Um, the bird wasn't alive. Uh, I was actually talking about the snake because you could see it was still moving, but the bird was dead and it was. The bird was still like halfway in its mouth by the time we saw it, and it couldn't bite us, even if it wanted to, probably, because its mouth was full. So I have some pictures on the screen right now, and the first one is of the snake's head, and you can kind of see the feathers in its mouth, and uh, you can see the dart going through the back of its neck. And this one's just a picture of the snake's rattle that I cut off. So that's just about it. Um, the parts I didn't like about it, uh, mainly over these darts right here, they came and they weren't very they weren't packaged very well. So these darts right here actually kind of broke. Um, you can see right here, they were a little bit bent, and the heads of them broke off. But if you buy some other ones online, just in a package with just these darts, they won't be as fragile. So that's all I have to say. Click the link in the description before the price goes any higher, and I'll see you next time.